Hello, I'm Jason, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot SSH connection issues with your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instances using AWS Systems Manager. Let's get started. We can use the AWS Support Troubleshoot SSH Systems Manager document to troubleshoot errors when connecting with SSH, such as permission denied or connection refused. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Systems Manager Automation Console. Select Execute Automation. Search for SSH in the list of documents. And then select the AWS Support Troubleshoot SSH document. Select Next. If your EC2 instance is currently online and managed by Systems Manager, then you can select your instance from the list. Or if not, you can enter the instance ID manually. In this example, we'll troubleshoot an offline EC2 instance. For action, choose Fix All. If your instance is online and managed by Systems Manager, you can leave the default values for the allow offline, subnet ID, and S3 bucket name parameters. However, if your instance is offline or not managed by Systems Manager, set allow offline to true. For subnet ID, choose a subnet ID which allows access to the required SSM endpoints by means of the internet or VPC endpoints. The default value selected instance subnet will use is the same subnet that the instance is currently in. For offline instances, you can also specify an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket in the S3 bucket name parameter to send troubleshooting logs to. For automation assume role, you can optionally specify an AWS identity and access management role with permissions for the execution to run. Otherwise, your current user permissions will be used. Choose Execute. While the automation runs, review each of the steps output to monitor the troubleshooting progress. After the automation completes successfully, try to connect to your instance again using SSH. Now you know how to use AWS Systems Manager automation to troubleshoot SSH connection issues on your EC2 instances. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.